Have you ever considered what makes you feel safe? What makes you feel secured? Is it a case whereby the more locks on the door, the safer you feel? Or perhaps does your safety depend on whether you're carrying a weapon or not? Well, dear friend, I'd like to tell you that real protection, it can only be found in Jesus. The Bible has many references to God as our protector, as a shield, as a good shepherd, a fortress, a deliverer, even our shelter, refuge, and strength. Now, I'd like to share with you a psalm of protection that I hold dear to my heart. Psalm 25, verses 20 through 21. O oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. We all need the presence of God to guard us. The enemy is after our souls. And David understood this, and so his plea to the Lord was that his soul would be guarded and secured by the Almighty God. And so at this moment, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your soul may be guarded. May your soul be guarded against the devil. May your soul be guarded against sin. May it be guarded from deceit and every manner of evil. Now, I love that this passage of Scripture says, May integrity and uprightness preserve me. And if you really think about what David is saying here, you'll find it to be a powerful request. Preservatives are natural or man-made chemicals that are added to foods to stop them from spoiling. Salt can be a preservative. We put food in the freezer to preserve it. Using vinegar or pickling is a method that can be used to preserve food. And the bottom line is that food preservatives also are used to slow or prevent changes in color, flavor, or texture. And so I believe that this psalm is saying, may integrity and uprightness preserve me, meaning May integrity and uprightness preserve my soul. May integrity and uprightness prevent my soul from being taken by sin or changed by evil. May integrity and uprightness preserve me and keep me in a pure state. Saints, I believe that we ought to pray for this kind of protection over our lives. Of course, we need physical protection from the dangers of this world, and of course, We need protection from the Lord when it comes to our day to day. But let me tell you that sometimes the biggest threat to our walk with God, it comes from within. Ungodly passions, idolatry, self-righteousness, anger, lust. These are all heart issues. And so I believe that we should earnestly be praying for integrity and uprightness to preserve us so that we won't be taken in or drawn to evil. A further passage that I'd like to share with you is Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. The Bible reads, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Saints, may our Lord and Savior incline his ear to you. May you find him to be gracious and merciful. Father, I confess and I believe your word. 
the word that says in Psalm 91, verse 10, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. God, your word is true and everlasting. I stand in faith on this scripture. Psalm 91 verse 10 No evil will befall me or my family. No plague will come near my dwelling or my body in Jesus' name. And even though my eyes may not be able to see it right now, Lord, I believe your word. I believe that you have sent your angels to have charge over me, to surround me and my family. You are a God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. You are a mighty and powerful Savior. And so, Lord, I trust that you will deliver me from all of my burdens and all of my frustrations. Lord Jesus, you are ever faithful. You are my hiding place. It's at this present time I have asked for your protection and for your covering over my life. I have asked for you to cover my family and my loved ones, even at this time where there is uncertainty in this world. Even at this moment, where there is a lot of fear and unsettling things. I pray that you would cover us in your shadow. This life is full of many dangers, both physically and spiritually, but God, I ask you to keep me and preserve me from physical dangers like illness or injury or accidents. Father, I pray that you would keep me and preserve me from spiritual dangers like doubt and sin, false teachings, and deception. Father, protect me from these threats. Lord Jesus, I ask that you would preserve my soul, preserve my going out and my coming in. You are my hiding place, Lord Jesus. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. You are my keeper, Lord the one who watches over me and my family. I pray that as we begin each day, and even as we end each day, may we do so while under your divine care and under your protection. Father, I rely on your faithfulness. Lord, help me not to shake, not to stagger, and not to despair in my faith when things get tough or when things are intimidating. Lord Jesus, be my sanctuary. Even if the storms of life roar, I pray that you will protect and preserve me. God, I glorify you and I reverence your name. I thank you for preserving me from all evil. Lord, I thank you for preserving my soul. Thank you for preserving my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.